I just want to show you a clip uh, from the Senate today. Your colleague uh, from Queensland, Jared Rennick, uh, talking about childcare and get your thoughts on this. Have a look. Because at the end of the day, if you can keep a child at home, if you can keep a child at home, and if you can keep a parent at home, you're going to halve the congestion on the roads, you're going to halve the pollution, and you're going to increase you're going to increase the quality of life for their young children and the parents. And let me tell you something. Dorothy didn't tap her shoes together and say that there's no place like childcare. She said there's no place like home. Well, there you go. Uh, Jared Rennick there today, Michael Sucker. I'm all for choice, but he sounds like he's har harking back to a bygone era. Look, Jared's a, a deep thinker and he does think about these things a lot. Uh, I suspect, just hearing that for the first time, Chris, that um, he's probably not far from your point about choice and really what the government's point is, and that is we want to give parents the opportunity to make that choice. And uh, obviously we celebrate as a government uh, things like female participation in the workforce, but at the same time we want to celebrate parents whether they're mothers or fathers or a combination of both, who are staying home and, uh, to some degree, doing the most important thing that uh, any parent can do, or any carer, any grandparent, and that is raising the next generation. So I think we uh, are, are probably in furious agreement with Jared that choice is the name of the game here. Uh, families have got to have the opportunity to make those decisions, but we should be celebrating uh, not just those parents who do a great job going out to work and providing for their families, but also the parents uh, who stay at home and um, provide those caring responsibilities. And as I said, the most important job that any parent has is uh, raising their child because they're the citizens of the future uh, who will um, continue to ensure Australia is the country it is.